All right, here's some van life maintenance. So, as um, you travel around, you obviously have to do regular maintenance, not just on the car, but on the van. So, honey, do you want to explain what's going on? I got excited when we were at Tumby Bay and pulled a wheel off to check the bearings and it just happened to be the wheel that I pulled off the bearings are Chinese bearings one of them was a bit sus tried to find some wheel bearings when we are at Tumby Bay uh, the local tractor place was supposed to have had one in stock but they couldn't find them so I put it back together as it was, or well, re-greased it all up, put it back together. Uh, what have we done? We've done about 200 you phoned, k's. You find a friend and he said you can, oh, yeah. can get to the next town. Find a mechanic mate back home and he said, nah, she'll be right. Grease it up, put it back together, get to the next town. So I rung ahead to Wyala, Spencer Golf Bearings, um, gave him some part numbers. Um, they had them in stock, they put them aside for me. So, I'm going to do this wheel. We'll see how I feel after this one. Whether I go through and do the whole four or. Yeah. You were able to buy brand new be bearings for all four, weren't you? Yes, yeah. Got bearings for all four, and they're all Japanese bearings too. They're Koyos and SKFs. So, oh, sorry, Koyos and Timkins. So, Peace of mind for me because I'm not a fan of the Chinese bearings that these trailer mobs put in there. A lot of people don't have issues with them, I just don't like them. I've seen too many fail over the years. The case hardening is not as that yeah, they're not the case hardening isn't as good as the better known brand bearings. That's where they fall apart. So yeah, Mel will do some video of me changing the bearings out and putting the new ones in and yeah, it's also a good time to check the brakes, make sure everything's all good. Yeah, so come along for the ride. In the dust, dust. not the ideal place to be doing it, but hey, when you don't it's have a home, level. yeah, it's level. And yeah, so fun games. So luckily we've uh, found a low cost camping town. It's 10 bucks a night off grid at the, at a, the football ground, football and baseball ground. Football and baseball. Oh, when, football, they football. when they say football, AFL. they mean AFL. Um, so because, because we're spending big in town on this stuff, uh, we found a low cost camp. It's full tonight. Um, and massive sites so as we might have worked out we haven't bothered with the awning because it <laughs> well, there's a breeze today but the last place was windy as so yeah i get to sip coffee and film him okay here is my other road trip van life reality today this afternoon sipping coffee and um Double checking schoolwork. Then I've got my diary where I fill out kilometers, weather, and spendings. And then later on, once I go through that, plus film Corey doing his thing, I will look at doing more editing on the computer for the next episode I'm working on. And this one's done a schoolwork in the car this morning. Now laying back on our bed. Watching movies, um, hard life, isn't it? So, yeah, schoolwork at the moment. We're doing homeschool in a box, which is yeah. I brought two terms worth of work, so I don't have to worry about chasing posts for half a year, which is awesome. Um, everything so far has definitely been uh, age appropriate. I, being year six, brought. All five subjects, we've got English, Math, Science, History, and Health. And 
most of the time we're able to smash out what we can in the car. Some stuff we need to sit down together and help out. But we basically do half a day, five days a week. And then we've got all the exploring and all that van life stuff where we learn. So that's, that's school so far this year. What did you just do? Oh, I'm just trying to punch the the bearing cups, cones, whatever you want to call them. The outer race. Just trying to tap it out. Now, uh, don't expect me to learn anything from this and uh do anything uh like this in the future this is his this is his, his thing like the front lawn mom and the front lawn used to be my thing yeah well i'll leave all this mechanical stuff up to him i'm not game hard life van life is a dog You're going to get the best filming ever here. Um, <laughs> watch me switch between selfie mode and non-selfie mode. Life with a lab. Seriously. The only complaint would be his loose hair. Otherwise, he's the easiest, most chilled out dog to travel with. Let's check back in over here. Solar panels. We've um, learnt learnt that you lay your solar panels flat on the ground obviously the sun's gone right now um otherwise they do nothing but blow over here in sa so or on the air peninsula so uh, we haven't left the windy west so far so yeah Right, while he's doing that, I'll swing you around the back here. So, when we first got the van, we uh, picked up this holder. <laughs> I'm shocking. You think if there was something else in me cup? You think I'd be drinking? Um, I swear, I, <laughs> I swear it's coffee. Um, so we got that holder. That's all they had in stock. And then when we did our run up from. Mandra, they have more in stock. So we've now got um, our 20 litre drums on the back. And what else is new? We've got water tank. Now I'm on the wrong side. There's an extra water tank. We're running three fresh waters at the moment. Uh, there's not too much I can tell you and show you. Car, car hasn't changed. Nah, nothing's changed. Oh, you know, locks, we've added the locks in. Um, I'll show you. Some people have asked about what we do for the dog. So he sits on the back seat, which you've probably seen from photos. But we've just got one of these seat covers. It's meant to go the whole way. But obviously we shall be sitting on him and check out the divider. If you haven't seen good old core flute. And this here is, it's a lead, but it clips in to your actual buckle. Corey. Corey found that when he was back uh, working at Burson's. Um, and then he's got his obviously his harness that he goes on and it clips straight on uh if you don't know your dogs are meant to be 
like properly secured in the car. Am I boring you yet? Uh, so yeah, so that's how he goes in and the seat cover came from Super Cheap. It's a ship we have had to, because it's just a general generic thing, we had to cut some holes for it to fit in the, um, we'll go back in the car. So it would go in here, we've cut some holes. Um, good old nappy pins to sort of stop it, try and stop it from moving. See, look at this. We clean it out and then we take him to the beach. And then it's dirty again, so. What are you doing now? Making sure before I grease anything up that they're the right bearings. You try and tell the part numbers or anything like the that? The part numbers are the same, but or I still. Measuring? I can measure, but just trying to. There we go. Just getting it on there nice and straight. Look at that. Oh, oh yeah, I didn't check my phone. Alright, you guys might be able to help me out. Let's. Oh, the wind. Alright, as you can see, we've got the mock mat, and then I've got good old bath towel. How trendy am I? But see here in the step. I can't see the screen. Here. What are people doing there? We've um, seen, no, I think it's like a full shower of rain. Can you put it on here? Oh, whoa, you just mm. say nothing. Is it going out? Yes, it's going out, thank you. Going out. Pardon? Oh. Go out a little bit further. Yeah, come back in. 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 Oh no, sorry, go out. I was looking at the wrong line. Come in. A little bit further. Thank you. Oh yeah, here's something new on the car. We uh we brought picked up some of these things. I don't know what they're called, but uh, yeah, scored them. Corey found them when we we're at Mandra Fire Swap Cell. Uh, they were, he did a quick run up to Rockingham, and yeah, so we've got those. Got not those now, so those you know moments when you're ducking into the shop. It's starting to sprinkle, and the wind's picked up. I'm getting a bit cold. I might be, I might disappear and get my jumper. Do you want me to go in and check the radar for you, honey? Is this a job you can't do if it's raining? Not really. Okay, so yeah, what have people done for that step? Uh, add your first enter the van. That'd be cool. We've got friends with a muck mat. As you know, I'm not sold on the muck mat. Uh, yeah, give me some ideas, cause Trying to vacuum that thing is nuts. All right, so as you can see, awnings out. We've got a privacy wall. Uh, thanks for the rain. Get back in the where we left off, eh? Those tread thingies are so multi-useful, eh? <laughs> they come in so handy. I 
and they're good because they're a bit slippery. It spins around so easy. It's like it's on a turntable. Oh, and your wind didn't get the rain before. Right here. Right, while well, we're waiting for him to get back into it and he fusses around, um, here's another unuseful fact. Thongs, man. I don't know if you can tell how worn out this thing is. I've obviously stepped in grease that he's had laying around. These things wear out like nothing else. I obviously, if you can't tell, I um, I buy brand name thongs just because they're thicker and they do last a lot better than uh, cheap ones. But then like they're still 20 bucks or less. 15 or 20 bucks on thongs I'm happy spending. Um, why do they wear out? I only brought these in Darwin. So they're probably six months old. Normally thongs will last me years, but we now live in our thongs 24 seven. So there's an ongoing cost, more regular cost that you wouldn't normally have if you're at home. So uh, these little, all these little things, you know, that's one person. We've got three people. Uh, yeah, Corey checked his thongs the other day. He's an early bugger. Shelby's luckily still going. Um, like Albany, all of us were up for a pair of joggers because Shelby's a kid and he's growing. She's, this is her second pair of joggers this trip. So there's just all those little things that keep, that keep popping up and adding up. So it's, don't, yeah. They're the little things that no one talks about and covers. So let's check in, see how we're going over here. Notice I'm squinting, getting frown lines because of the glare, but it's too dark to have sunnies on. How are you going? Yeah, just starting to reassemble. So is this a job that anyone, any boy and Freddy could do or you kind of have it? Got to have a bit of background knowledge on it. Yeah. You've got a little bit of a little bit of knowledge. You should be able to do it. It's not hard. Having the correct tools make it a lot easier. Having a nice firm hard surface to hammer down on also does help. But beggars can't be choosers. The thing is you want to try and get to go in square and it's not playing the game. So is that because you don't have all the right tools? Oh, I don't have the exact. So are they, they tools that you actually do own at home? Or yes, I do. Do I need to put the camera down and assist? No, I just... It doesn't fit. Right. It does fit. I just 
don't want to bugger a bearing. You can't just go gung ho and belt it in because then you end up chipping a bearing and then you're down. Back to square one back and to square a new one. bearing. Yes. And it just doesn't want to play the game and go in straight. You know why? Because you're on camera. See how easy it is when you've got the right tools? So how come you had the right tool for that one? Uh, the, I bought two bearing press tools that suited the old caravan. Uh. So obviously the outer bearing is the same, the inner bearing on this one is slightly bigger than what was on the Tanami. So, so you've got... I've got the right one at home. I didn't bring all of them because I didn't need all of them when we left. Are we going to have to do this again before we go home? No, I'm just doing this one wheel. I'll just jack the other wheels up. Just make sure they're adjusted properly. And I'm going to leave them. I'll have spares if something goes wrong. But... So yes. I won't if... We won't have any major incidents if you don't check the others I'll, I'll check them but i'm not going to change them okay or if i do change them it will be somewhere when we're on a cement slab but this one needed changing so um is this something so jaco do what they call um what is it not warranty we're doing warranty service. Jayco, apparently, you're supposed to get serviced like a car. Is this something that should have been checked or well, done on a service? They say they check the wheel bearings and that at the first service, but this particular grease cap hadn't been taken off. It had no marks on it where it had been taken off. So, maybe they just jacked it up, gave it the wiggle, no play, away you go. So, who knows? You got a rubbish bag for your rubbish? No, oh, I do have one hanging over there, but... Um, yeah, look at this. Someone's up nice and close on his muck mat. He stitched his bed to get even closer. And he's on his muck mat. So what are you doing now? Now I've got to do the fun thing with everybody. Which everyone hates or loves, did you say? Okay, so this is a what job people love or hate? Well, or love to hate? Or hate is, to love? This is the job. This is, this is what's all over my shoes. This is the job that the apprentices got given back in the day. Before there was flash dangled tools to do it automatically, you had to do it the old fashioned way. And force the grease through. I still think this is the best way to do it. I do have a machine at home, which makes it heaps easier, heaps quicker, heaps less messier. So if you had a bigger van and car, you'd have all your tools Always. and there wouldn't be any issues? No, I'd have a workbench. <laughs> That's why I want a Tundra. 
have it set up like a workshop in the back of it. But yeah. So all Can you, you do... tell he doesn't park the car on shopping day? So all you're doing here is just working yourself around and just forcing the grease. From this side, up past the bearings until it starts to bubble out like that on the opposite side. And, and you just you can see in the camera, but yeah. And you just work your way around and around and around. And then give it a good old coating with grease. When you get wet. Put a bit more grease in here. Oh, as soon as that rain comes in, the wind comes and whew. And then fresh. Done. Yeah. Okay. What now? What's next? So next is putting the seal in. Once I get there, it'll be too. You smell the rain now. There's been that much rain. Same thing. You just want to try and get this to go in straight. Just a bit of brake cleaning. Make sure you got no grease on your braking surface or your magnet surface. So what is this stuff? Brake cleaner. Okay, so that's that done. And then. Depends on who you talk to. <laughs> Different people fill the center up with grease. Like absolutely cake it full of grease. Some people just put a smear around there. I just like to put a bit of a smear. I don't go. I'll show you in a second. I don't go over the top. Just a bit in there. Just like that. Beautiful assistant. You're lucky you chose your words wisely. Same thing, just get some of that grease, just make sure it's all around the outside. Careful not to drop it onto the dirt, which I've done before, and then you just back to square one. Slide it in. 
Now I know these have still got grease on them, but the grease is only like two days old from when I greased them on the side of the road. Yeah. I like to just do it up finger tight. So let me just. Excess grease. Now, if I find a me tool, which I have no idea where I've thrown it. Which one? Yeah, we don't want to see your butt. No, we don't look. Step no, one don't get some. He don't like him one bit. He's fallen in love, what is it? Trady bamboo. But do you know how hard it is to find a shop that sells them? So hopefully, hopefully the next town might have a shop. And I just spin the drum. As I tighten it up, fairly tight. Give it a good spin. And then I'll back it off. Sorry. And then same thing. Yes, I know I haven't got the right tools, but when you're on the road, you just make do with what you got. Back three, maybe. Just do that twice. Give it a spin. And then all I do then... Shelby! What are you doing? Do a dance party. And then I just... You've been laying down doing the right thing. Your movie finished, didn't it? <laughs> so. Yeah, so it's got a little bit of play in it. So it's got our play in it or not our play in it? You want to do it till the play's just gone. So I don't know. So what do you call so, play? You hear that? Rocking. You can rock it backwards and forwards. That that is good, but sort of halfway between two holes. So if I come back to that hole. Is there holes there, is it? Yeah, I've got a little bit of play. So. That's acceptable? Or not acceptable? No, I don't. Because they are going to bed, bed themselves in. So I'd rather just, like that's, That's still not over tight. Or well, you can sit here and sort of bed them in a bit more, try and squeeze all the. So they're making a good contact. You might want to say what you just said because I wasn't filming. New split pin. In through the hole. A million different ways you can do this. This is the way I do it. That one back like that. Chop that one off. Same thing, some people fill that full of grease. I don't. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can just belt that on with a hammer, but you dent it. So. Well, I've got my punch out. And that's it. So, my lovely assistant passing me that dirty red rag over there. <sighs> so, this is the bearing that I was concerned about. So, you had concerns and then you pulled this wheel off and had a look and oh started, no i or? was just i was just pulling it off to check the bearings give it a service so this it just happened to be the first wheel you took just off was so it could have been any other wheel could have pulled any other wheel off and look as my mate said there's probably this thing probably won't fail but i knew it's there i wasn't going to let it go for any longer so it still looks fine it's not but my biggest problem and i don't know if you can tune in is that word there uh, no it's all blurry yeah. it says china i hate chinese bearings they're just built is that because of your knowledge from your background Oh, yeah, probably Or is, is that just general knowledge? Everyone knows not no. to get Chinese bearings. No, no, that would just be from my background. Seeing these things fail time and time and time after again, where Koyos, Timpkins, SKFs, yeah, they will fail, but they don't fail nowhere near like these things do. I'm just not a fan. They're just not case hardened enough. And the case hardening comes off and as soon as that starts coming off, you get bits of metal in there and it just chews up. Next minute, you've got a wheel parting ways because the bearings have collapsed. And then you're up for a new stub, yeah, and you're screwed. So, they will go in the bin. So, that's it, put the wheel on clean up the mess because it is a messy job yep and i've already walked in some of your grease at some point yeah that's it and we're back so is clean up done clean up done now it's time wheel back on shame bum step one don't get it I always pre-start nuts. What does that mean? Always wind them on by hand to start off with. Never just, well, if you're only using the hand tools, don't really make any difference. But I have this. So I always run them on my hand so you know they're starters, you don't cross thread them. Then you want to work in diagonals. Done. And that's it. Done. I wind it down and then I do my hand. You, you just use a power tool. Yeah, but it, that, yeah, they will 
over tighten them so we don't go overly aggressive because you can snap the wheel studs quite easily so, and then all I do is go the right way to start off with one two three four five six and then I'll just go Ideally, you'd have a tension wrench. Yes, I have three of them at home and I didn't bring any of them. Why do you have three? Just accumulated <laughs> them over time. <gasps> so that's it, done and dusted. That's, yes, that's no. one wheel done. Copy and paste to do the rest. 